hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to see how we can create a timeline or approval history component we should uh, show the entire history about that approval item when it was initiated and then when it was approved by first level approver and then second level and now it's pending for the third level since this date so it should show it should represent the entire history or timeline for that particular item so this we are going to build into Power Canvas app and you might be already knowing that in model driven app we are already having one timeline component which we can add on the form which shows the history or the any interaction with that particular item but over here we are going to build it from scratch in Power Canvas app as there is no component available so we are going to build it as a custom so let's start so I am going to open one more one more studio so that we can start creating one canvas app and i'll start from blank app and i'll name that as approval history component to build out this component we are going to take help of our vertical gallery where we are going to place few icons and adjust the uh, icons title and the or the labeling based on the current state so to start with, I am going to create one collection in app start on start and this collection I am right now using just dummy data but we in reality we are going to fetch this data from any of the SharePoint list or Dataverse table which is holding the approval history item. So we are going to talk about that how end to end we can save into SharePoint and have the timeline items create into one of the SharePoint list in next video but this video is just focus on how to build out this component first so I'll just copy this collection which I have already created what it has it has an ID of that collection and you can see it's set pending date time and approval the same the second line item is ID2 state approved and it was approved by which person which person so it's a chronological order where how when it was initiated is the first line item second the sec first level of approval third the second level of approval and finally it's waiting at the final one so this collection we are going to work with and later on i am going to add one gallery that is vertical gallery into my screen and we are going to bind this gallery with our collection so for that i am going to just change that to our collection which is timeline collection and I need to just run this run start so that my collection can be available for my gallery so now this collection is available right now it's pretty much very much the same collection which we used to have just like binding any data source we are having this name and subtitle the title subtitle and image and we are going to now get rid of this unwanted stuff so first of all I am going to remove this this image and we are going to start adding up first of all the separator between these items so I am going to go this to this gallery and I will search for vertical line into icons so that we can have the vertical lines in between to my stages and I'll adjust this title and heading to the right and with the less space so that we have a better space for other icons to be placed in I just move them and this I am going to make a proper distancing so that we have the all the components or the stages listed properly and then we are going to just move this vertical separator line separator to depict the stages as that these are separated by these vertical pipes so this is number one and we are going to just remove this the scroll bars so that we have a proper border for it so I am going to this gallery and we are going to just turn off this first of all this show scroll bar so that I should stop getting this and then we are going to just stop this edit mode as view and now this bar is coming we have to remove this rectangle separator so I will just remove this one just directly delete and now I'll increase the font for these items. I'll just say to 18 so that these are properly visible. And along with that, I need to show the icons for this my 
timeline so that if it's approved then it should be green and checked and if it's in pending state it should be with clock so i'll just add a couple of more icons so first of all i'll start with clock and this clock i'll place at my this vertical line and i'll just shift these other title and sub headings a bit side so that we can have a space for our this icons and now if you wish you can move this date at top and then approver name at bottom so it's your choice and by that for that you have to just change the gallery this selected field image title the bindings and i'll just say this selected the approver title subtitle should be my this approver and this title should be my date so that it will be swept down and now we are going to just move our this clock or this clock icon from the gallery so that we can have a uh, we can show this icon and we want this clock uh, icon to be displayed as pending so we are going to just change the color of this icon specifically and we'll just set this color as orange so that we can have a feel that it's pending not the background one i'll just move use this color of this icon not fill and this would be just orange and i'll place one more icon in the same gallery and this icon would actually superimposed on to my check to my this weight icon and i'll just use this icon from icon list and that would be check badge and this icon again i'm going to place on the same icon and this time this icon i would place as color as green so that we should know that this is approved icon so now we have these two icons and i will add one more icon that is that will give us uh, a way to just say that it's item the approval is initiated so i'll just pick one item which will help me to decide that this item is approval is initiated icon and i will add this icon again on top of this same and now i am going to put the conditions so that i can decide which icon should be displayed for what particular collection item so for that i am going to just go for icon visible property and i'll just put up one condition and that condition would be if my this item dot state equal to initiated then show it otherwise don't show it so this is for our initiated icon and now the same condition i am going to put on the other icon so this on visible i'll set as if this is approved then show this icon and then we have this the first icon which is a pm pending one so I, on the visible condition of that pending we just say if this is pending then show this icon so now we have a clear timeline where we shows this initiated icon then approved approved and this waiting icon so i'll just increase a bit of height so that we can see and over here so right now i am just showing this name of approver so now i need to just append or concatenate the text which shows that it's what action has been taken by this approver the entire line so i'll just use this concatenate this state actually state to my to by let's say to our this approver so it will show pending this guy approved by which person i'll just make my this timeline a bit expanded so that we can show everything and again now i'll just go to my decide text so now we are showing that who is so pending by is nothing so we have to just make one more condition over here if it's if the state is pending then just say pending for rather than by so just we are going to just put one more special condition that if state is 
pending then show is pending for otherwise show by that's it so now it's a better is initiated by this person approved by this approved by second approver and pending for this person so right now we are good we are good with this all the uh, states which we are showing over here now we have to have this in an alternate fashion so that this text and this heading should come for odd rows it should come at the left hand side and for the even it should come on the right hand side so that arrangement we have to do and before that i'm just going to give a border to my this gallery so that it can be looking better i'll just say first of all border to one and border color we'll just do it a gray color and we are also going to just give a background color to it now it's quite a kind of visible to us and it's looking nice as well i'll just increase the space so that once we have this uh, space i mean when we have this arrangement of alternate rows then we should be having a more space to show it right now as you know like this heading and this title are being actually captured at some x position if i go to this position you will be seeing i'll just select one so that we can see the exact x position so over here my x, x position for this title is 377 and now i want to move this to on the right hand side so i'll be doing a formula based position calculation for x so that the alternate days alternate rows can go on the left so for that i'll just choose this uh, formula on my this x so i'll just select the x property and i'll so i'll write one if condition and that if condition would be using one mod function mod function does is like it actually divides or checks for the remainder for that specific specific division so if i say mod this item id that would give me index of my this item if it's divided by two and if you can see the number and divisor so if it's divisor and if equal to zero then that means it's an even row and at that time i want to have this even row to be displayed with 377 or whatever you want otherwise it should display at 41 which should be on the left hand side so you can see my this heading just this date just went to the left for my odd rows and for the right it's still there on the right hand side so i'll just do the same thing for my this the other subheading where and we are showing this pending for approver i'll just select the x property and i will do the same and do it like this and now this is being cramped up so i'll just i can just now i have a space i can move this entire separator and my, my these lines to a bit and we can shift this position for our existing on the left hand side to the more left so that we can have so i'll just select this x condition or the x property for both of them and i'll just say 400 so that we have a proper space on the right hand side and we'll just do the same for this the subheading as 400 and now it's showing fine you can move this more onto the right so you have to decide like what uh, positions works well for your form layout because your main form would be coming over here on the left and this timeline if a person do some action view timeline or you may want to display it all the time then you can use this one so that's how you can decide like what this position parameter or position x position works for you so right now we are good we have shown the dates we have shown the person and it's alternately reset as well we can increase this icon sizes so that it can be visible much more so that's how we can build this timeline component or approval history component just with simple vertical gallery and with bit of adjustment based on the condition so in my next video i am going to take this timeline as a dynamic with uh, items which is stored into sharepoint and we are going to bind the 
the data which we are create, which we are creating right now as a static from SharePoint list and then end to end this workflow form or this approval form would be shown to us. So I think that is it for today's video. Meanwhile, if you have any question, then just drop your questions. I'll try to answer and just wait for the next video for end to end solution. Thank you.